I laid out what I have. This is going to be for art. These items are going to be for display and the rest, not 100% <laughs> sure what I'm going to do with them. So I have some pins and I definitely want to put these on my little purse. And then this is going to go with my other uh, mother of pearl things. And actually I can see it needs to be cleaned. And this is going to go in my cabinet. Okay, so let's put those things away. These bags are just so easy to display things on and you don't even have to poke holes in the fabric because I just put them through the openings. Put that one there and let's see. Got this one here and then I decided to put that one down there. I have some mother of pearl handled like manicure pieces in this little cut glass vase. I'll just add that one in there. This is where I've been putting my pearl thing. So I would like to add this piece. I'm gonna see if I can hook it here onto the pearls. Okay, that worked well. These four pieces I want to put in my curio. I already have a blue box in there, so I'm gonna put those together. This will go with my other two. I have a thistle pin, so it'll go with the thistle pin, and I've got my buckles in there. So fingers crossed I've got space. Here's the thistle pin, and funny enough, I got that a year ago pretty much on this day. It wasn't the exact date, but it was a Wednesday of this week, and today's Wednesday. And I was hoping they would have the sale again, but I sent a message and didn't get a reply. But they advertised pretty well last year, and I don't see anything advertised. So that's sad. But I was really happy to find that it's uh, sterling, and I paid a dollar for it. So I'm going to put this piece in here. And it's funny, when I only had one or two pins in there, I wasn't like crazy about the way it looked. And when I add this one here, I really like that. I know it's funny and something simple, but I like how they're overlapped. You know, they're not laid out perfectly, just kind of casual, but I don't know, I enjoy the look of that. And I think the rest is gonna go uh, on this shelf. So I know I have my buckles in here. And the, actually, the other vanity jar I have in here is empty, so I do have room to grow. Here's the uh, other blue box. So I'm going to add that. I might open it. I'll see. And I also have my purses. And I don't know where in the world that one's going to fit. All right, so I'm going to play around a little bit. It went here where I was going to put the pin, uh, but I think I have an idea for a different place for the pin. I think I'll put the pin and the buckle over here. I've got this buckle, and blue was pretty much the only color I have in here besides like the metallics and silver and gold. So this, okay, sometimes it's a lot easier to do it when I'm not filming because then I can maybe concentrate a tad more, not break anything. Yeah, that'll, I think I'll put it down here. Buckles behind. I will put my coral and Luna Moth back. I was thinking about putting the stick pin in this display, but that royal blue just wasn't working. And I have this little display of orange and royal blue. So that works out perfectly. And I think a lot of people commented that that orangey brown stone is um, a topaz. It's very pretty, very clear. So I've got the, the royal blue and the orange. And then down low, I have uh, one of the Shalimar bottles, and it's got that orange circle there. I have this vanity jar that has that repoussé lid, very nouveau, and that's where I have a lot of them. So I'm just going to tuck that right here in the corner. These are little rhinestone -y crafty bits, and I believe this is where I, yep, perfect. Boop. Oh, look how organized. <laughs> Just clear rhinestones. Then I put um, white and glass, Aurora Borealis, and just 
couple other random things. Let's see, I think that's all I have to put in there. I'd like to put the dog head up and I know where I want it to go, but I also don't feel like putting another nail in the wall. So I might try and use a hole that I have um, that's just kind of random <laughs> and then figure it out later. Uh, I did a little research. I can't find out a brand or anything. I think even as much as those look like initials to us, I think they're just um, folds <laughs> that just happen to look like letters. But I did find something out about the motif and what type of clay or porcelain this is. I think it's definitely Victorian, um, kind of like mid-Victorian maybe. And it's called Parian, P-A-R-I-A-N. So people would call it Parian ware. And it's interesting because I had said that it's a little bit shiny, but still is a little rough like bisque. And that's called Parian ware that it's a mix of all different things with the clay um, and it was called self-glazing clay. So you didn't have to glaze it afterwards. I guess maybe it had a little bit of um, the glass or the silica mixed in. So when it was fired, it gave it that somewhat glossy look. Isn't that pretty cool? That's not where I want it but I had a nail there already, and I thought it was probably safe to get it on the wall and off of my desk. I think it would be nice to stick it here because then that would kind of create that little display and have that nice bridge from the stuff on top of the curio to the wall, or maybe tucked in right here between the purse and the picture frame, just something like unexpected when you're looking at it and like, oh, there's that small little interesting dog head. Parian wear. These are the things that I'm going to put with my Halloween art supplies because I feel like that's when I would most use them, actually. And I think those as well. And then over here, I put the things that I'm considering putting on the vanity bottles. So they're just like close when I'm ready to make something. And I polished this up and a lot of people said it probably is real turquoise just because it has that Native American feeling. And uh, there is a marking, it says FY, so I need to look that up. And that, wouldn't that look so pretty? Just displayed or added somehow. I think I like it on that one. That one's kind of cool too, but I don't wanna cover up the engraving. So I think that's gonna be it. I need to eat some lunch and go to church. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.